Live look at Lambert Airport as people prepare for travel restrictions to start tonight in response to the coronavirus spread. Travel from 26 European countries to the United States will end beginning at midnight. News Force Caroline Hecker is at Lambert this evening detailing how airport officials are responding to the outbreak. Right now, airport officials tell me everything is operating business as usual and it is not screening passengers for things like fevers. But today we caught up with some passengers who tell us they're not taking any chances. As passengers filter through Lambert International Airport, many are adding gloves and masks to their carry-ons. I broke my mask at the airport and a lady gave me this one. So she had a couple of them just handy. Tanika returned to St. Louis after traveling to Atlanta on business. She says the thought of walking unprotected through the Atlanta airport, a major international hub, was too risky. People aren't very sanitary, so I could see why a virus like that was spread. You know, you see people use the bathroom and walk right out. They don't wash their hands. They cough, they sneeze, they don't cover. Lambert Airport officials say they've increased the level of cleaning in public areas and have placed additional hand sanitizer stations around the terminals. Right now, they are not screening passengers for fevers, saying much of that is taking place in large international hubs. Tasia Williams flew in from Connecticut and says foot traffic at that airport was unusually low. I would say probably a good 30% was precautious and had their self covered. Other than that, no, like my flight, there's a lot of people coughing. Some passengers resorting to latex or winter gloves to bypass germs on ticketing kiosks. The majority of others going about their travel plans while being vigilant. Now, airport officials say they will remain in contact with both federal and state health departments to monitor everything. And we asked if the governor declaring that a state of emergency would affect operations here at the airport. And I'm told at this point, the answer to that question is no. Live at the airport, Caroline Hecker, News 4.